Brilliant. Um, so I'm here with Ben the Bane Davis. Ben, thank you for joining me on such uh, short notice for a little impromptu interview. You had some news dropping. Um, you're going to be taking on Gabriel Silva in a boxing match on Misfits 009. How how did this even come about? It's kind of a funny story. Um, you know, I've been chirping in the influencer boxing scene for a couple months now. I've been interested in fighting or joining the commentary team. And I was recently in New York uh, covering PFL with Donna Corby. And Donna was, we, we were at dinner one night, and he was like, dude, let me just text Mams and put him on your radar. And later that night, Mams, you know, DM'd me, and the next morning called and uh, was like, hey, do you want to fight Gabe Silva? And I was like, fuck it, why not? So here we are. <laughs> I know you were you were looking for a fight with uh, Derek from Better, who I think we would all like to fight at some point or another. I, I actually put, my, I put my, my hat in the ring if he didn't accept the fight with you. Um... Did, was that ever on the table in terms of misfits, or was that something that you were going to try and organize yourself? I mean, hopefully after this one, you know, win, lose, or draw, I can get Derek inside the, the ring. But the problem with Derek, and as you know, he's a guy who likes to talk, but he doesn't necessarily walk it. He's a, a, a nuisance a fucking insect in the scene, and I don't anticipate him ever actually competing. He'll just be screaming into the void as he usually does. So after this, I'd love to take Derek a couple rounds, but... It's such a low probability because he's such a pathetic that I don't even know if, if uh, he's worth the energy anymore. You know what I mean? But I agree. I'd love to slap him up. That's uh, that's good to hear. So this this fight with uh, with uh, with Gabe Silva definitely not one that people were expecting to get announced today. I know you uh, you made a teaser with the with the with the spider emoji. You never was thinking, holy shit, he's gonna fight Anderson Silva. But um, taking on Gabe Silva, how I, I asked you how the how the fight came about. How do you see this fight going now? So there's two pathways I can see here. Either he's going to come out, blitz me, and knock me out early, or, or I'm going to survive, execute the game plan that my coach and I have been cooking up, and win either a late TKO or a decision. Um, you know, I think that the whole positioning here is for the son of Anderson Silva to come in, spark me out on a Misfits card and kick off a great run in influencer boxing. I think that's what they want to happen, but it's just simply not going to occur. You know, I'm pretty confident in my durability. I'm confident in my conditioning, and um, I think I'm going to be there later than Gabe wants me there, and once he starts getting tired, I'll start taking over, and I'm getting my hand raised. It's win or die, and I don't think Gabe has that mentality. I've seen people online who are they're you know they're definitely crediting you for taking the fight because as you were saying you no know, the likes of Derek from Better they're not going to step in you know a lot of guys in media they're just not going to step in even if they are talking about it but you know people do have their their doubts about you and they kind of think that this is just a spectacle but I can see that you know you are you are you are taking this seriously it, you know like Misfits kind of has a, a reputation as being kind of circus boxing and all that kind of thing but. For you, this is a real fight. You're going in here with the intention of beating Gabe Silva. But it's not a TikToker. It's not a food reviewer. It's not someone that gets on a, uh, a live stream and dance. This is Gabriel Silva, the son of mixed martial arts icon, arguably the GOAT, Anderson the Spider Silva. So that's the mentality I need to have is this is a fight. And this is a kid who's got you know the world on a silver platter here and I've not been impressed by his past several fights in kickboxing and Muay Thai and I think that the last name is doing a lot of heavy lifting for him and I just don't see him living up to it but so yeah I've been in camp for about two weeks now and like I said I've got a game plan that's going to make him unbelievably uncomfortable I'm going to I'm going to give him things that he hasn't seen before and I'm just going to be a little bit more game than his past opponents I mean I've watched the tape of this kid He's fighting guys that aren't really interested in being there. I mean, your pro debut in boxing was against an 0-6 fighter. That's pathetic. Now you're fighting a broadcaster in me. You think your dad was doing that? You think your brother Khalil's doing that? No, it's fucking pathetic. So, you know, I get to go in here and, yeah, be counted out, be the underdog, have the world against me. And it's an uphill battle. It's Gabe Silva. But when I get my hand raised, everyone's going to shut the fuck up and go, oh, you know what? He's actually got some sauce on him. So, win, lose, or draw against Gabe later this month, do you think that you will continue in the kind of uh, influencer boxing scene, or are you going to continue to transition through these different martial arts? We saw you earlier this year um, grappling, and now we're seeing you boxing. Could we eventually see you inside, I don't know, Anthony Pettis FC? <laughs> we could 
see a mixed martial arts debut. I think that uh, fighting in MMA is certainly a box that I'd love to check. But, you know, yeah, right now the focus is influencer boxing and, and putting on those big gloves and getting in the squared circle. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I'd love to do commentating for Misfits and maybe some of the other promotions. Obviously, play-by-play -play is my passion. That's where I excel the most at. So, I think that if I can fight twice a year on Misfits cards or wherever else uh, and do commentary for whatever other events are in between, then I think that'll be my best case scenario, the ideal outcome here, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed, like I said I walk out and talk, that grappling match five days notice against a legit black belt that went seven and a half minutes with UFC's Clay Guida before getting subbed, so uh, I don't give a fuck who you are, I'll step in there whether I'm experienced or not, and give you what I got So, uh, last but not least, do we have an official prediction for your fight later this month? Yeah, I'm going to go, let's swing the hammer on Bane via TKO. I think I can get him out of there in the fourth round, right? He's feeling tired, and I'm still there. I'm still pushing uh, and pressuring him. I think that's going to be the uh, the outcome here. But a decision, I wouldn't be mad about that. Win's a win. I can't complain.